everyone, Don Dotson from Dotson Designs, and this is an episode of Leatherwork Simplified, where we're going to talk about a, a tip or technique that can help you out, especially if you're a beginning leather worker. And today we're going to talk about cutting straps. This is a big problem for most folks because they really struggle uh, with cutting really long straps for belts, straps, and other things, gussets, things like that. So we're going to discuss how we can do that um, the best way using the simplest of tools for the most part, but we're going to have to have one tool in particular that's very important. So, uh, how do you cut leather straps, long leather straps, without uh, a lot of fuss? Uh, probably the quick answer is there's a little bit of fuss ahead of time and not so much fuss afterwards. So, the most critical part of cutting long pieces of leather is the preparation and then the tool that you're going to use namely the strap cutter, which we'll talk about here in just a second. But um, let's get started and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so cutting long leather straps. First part of that is having all the required tools. So you'll need a strap cutter, some sort of long, long straight edge. I use a aluminum level. Your leather, of course, all right, and I like to start from the beginning before I even uh, cut it. And then of course, some sort of cutting device. I just use a simple utility knife, but there's all kinds of fancy smancy knives and we can, you can talk about that some other time, but for now I'm just trying to cover what's really basic things that you're gonna need. Notice I have a fairly clean work area today. This is not common. Uh, and it's probably one of the biggest parts in a struggle that when you're trying to cut leather, a lot of times you're dealing with the fact that you don't have a large space for such a large hide or side to spread out and cut things. But uh, this is really helpful. So if you have to do it on the floor, do it on the floor and you can just put something underneath as you cut. I find that working on the table works the best. Okay, so let's get started with that. Okay, so we have our table completely cleaned off. You really can't have much of anything on here, otherwise it kind of gets in the way. And I'm gonna start by unrolling the leather. This is actually four by five, four, five ounce leather. Um, obviously for straps you're going to want something thicker, but uh, this is what I had available. Um, you want to unroll it the good side up and then you want the shoulder, the straighter part towards you. Um, and as you go along, you're looking for imperfections, you're kind of looking for any kind of marks. You're also trying to get the general sense of this upper shoulder part to get sort of the straightest that you can find, okay? and I'll show you here in a close-up what we're trying to do um, so that you can basically use as much of the material as possible because you're going to have waste when you cut this initial first line. Now remember to examine your leather as you're rolling it out but you're also looking for where you have the deeper cuts so that you can try to figure out where to place your straight line and as I go I can see there's a big divot there that I'm going to have to deal with so that when I'm going to put my rule on, I'm kind of going to be going down through that access and I have to deal with that spot. Okay, I've got this all rolled out and I kind of have a little bit of a dip here in the, in the middle that uh, I'm going to have to deal with and then all the way over here. So I have a uh, five foot table and it's almost completely fits on here enough that I can basically do what I need to do next, which is we're going to take our level, a straight rule, a board, pretty much anything. And what you're gonna wanna do is sort of find the highest part of this curve, because that's where you're gonna kinda wanna start from. And there's nothing, you don't have to be completely perpendicular to the axis for the most part of the hide, um, of the side, you're just trying to get a nice straight line. So um, the only important thing is that the line is parallel the whole length. Okay, and this is important. So what I tend to do is once I've kind of eyeballed it and figured out where I want to position it, I'm going to, because my uh, table is a little short, I'm going to drag it long enough so that I can get all of the one part of the leather on. You may need to use a weight or something to hold that down because the next part I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this. Okay, okay so I'm going to take my straight edge and put it as close to the live edge of that leather as I can. You do need to take into consideration that that area might be damaged a little bit and then of course I line it up with the other high point in the leather and this sort of establishes my straight line and then I'm just going to mark it with the pen 
Um, you could use a pencil or pretty much anything you want. I'm not really concerned that the mark will be there later because I'm going to bevel my edges generally anyway, and that sort of removes that mark. So um, not a big deal. And just remember that when you go, you're going to need to move the um, straight edge and just use that mark to make sure it's parallel. So we have our nice long line all drawn on here. This is a straight line. Um, and this is the first part and this is probably the, the, the most important parts is we got to get again, nice straight line cut. Okay. Because we need that cut for the strap cutter to um, ride along. It needs a long straight line so that then it, when it cuts, it does its job. So that's what we're going to do next is we're going to cut our line. Uh, you have a couple options. I mean, again, I use a simple utility cutter, but some folks will want to use a straight edge to help them as they move along the line. Um, whatever you want to use and it works for you is best. I tend to do it freehand. I've just been doing it a while and it, it seems to work pretty good. So that's what I'm going to do. Very important though is whatever blade you're using, make sure it's fresh and sharp for this because you want things to go as smooth as possible. Um, if it's a thicker leather, like a 7.9 or even heavier, don't be afraid to do two cuts if you have to, um, to sacrifice a little precision, to uh, have precision over speed. So let's start cutting. Okay, as I'm making my cuts, um, you want to have a firm pressure with a consistent sort of uh, depth and keep the blade perpendicular to the leather because it's thick enough that you will see that sort of angle cut. As I'm cutting, I'm actually looking ahead of my blade to where it's going to be. It's kind of like a little visual trick that seems to be more effective. And lastly, if you don't go the whole way through, it's okay to have to go back through and clean up those bits that you didn't quite get. We now have our nice long cut made nice and straight our seed cut so to speak um, and we're ready to move on to the rest uh, which is using our strap cutter everything we've done to just uh, up to this point has just made this uh, easier from here on out from now on we'll just be able to use our, our strap cutter on the top and uh, have nice straight long pieces of leather so um, a couple notes on how to use the strap cutter um, basically you have it's a T all right, so you have this bit here at the top. That's a little wing nut that allows you to adjust it back and forth. Okay, this controls the width of the piece. All right, and then there's a little thumb screw here that allows you to actually look at like how thick of the leather that can go through there. Um, and then it's really hard to see, but right where this metal bit here is a blade. So when you're doing this, you just basically adjusting it to whatever size you want. There's little inch mark gauges there and you put it on whatever you want. Like in this case, we're going to use an inch because it's a good thing to start with. It's a common size. And um, this is sort of like our straight edge, this part here. OK, and then you basically grab the handle like this. You're going to grab your leather and then you're going to move it all along with using this part, this whole long part against that straight edge that you cut. So um, just grabbing this random piece of leather, um, it would fit in there and then, and then you're gonna grab this top part and pull, all right? And actually you're just gonna hold this part as you pull with that part, all right? And that's how that works. And then you will commence to this. So we're gonna cut our really large piece and you're going to see the same thing. It's very important that you have a really, really sharp blade here, like change it out often because um, otherwise it just jams up and uh, or it doesn't cut, get that initial cut and then you're kind of twisting it. And it's very important as you're moving along to hold it very, very straight. But it's a pretty darn easy tool to use. It's well worth it. It's one of the few tools that I like strongly urge any beginning leather worker to get. Okay, so as you're starting it, 
um, you're just simply putting the top part against there, making sure everything is straight and uh, squared. Sometimes you'll struggle a little bit with the beginning, um, starting it, and especially with thinner leathers. Uh, that's why it's important to have a very sharp blade, um, a fresh blade. As you pull along, you're going to grip the work, the strap part, and again, keep a long consistent pull will be very effective. It's a long piece so you're going to have to change position several times and maybe even move the work as you're uh, making the cut. So that's a very important part to understand um, in making sure that you're using the tool effectively. Also you do want to be careful that you're keeping the tool square to the leather but not so tightly that you get it twisted or you create sort of uh, divots because you can actually defeat the square so to speak um, and uh, booger it up by twisting the tool too much so again nice steady long pulls are the most effective and then of course you got to go real slow at the very end because sometimes you actually don't have anything to guide it against and then there you have a nice long piece of strap leather All right, guys, thank you for watching my little short video on how to make leather straps using a strap cutter. And remember, the most important thing is getting that first initial cut so that you do that and then it'll be easy from there. Have a great day.